What's going on guys? It's Omni York and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be attacking and taking down a city here in Infinity Kingdom. So as you can see, no alliance actually occupies this city of Hesperus. So an easy way to find cities that aren't occupied by a particular alliance is just by going into the world map here and the faction color corresponds with the area that the city is around. So this over here is Hesperus. You can see this part of the map is not color coded, so nobody owns it. But the blue faction here with the alliance Serene is going to be taking Hesperus here in just a minute and we're going to be joining that fight. Now, before we jump into the action i just want to show you guys the army that i'm going to be using to kind of engage in this fight here so we can come in here you can see number of troops the load all that stuff is great we've got brynhild and ramses up front here you can see the corresponding skills that i have on them and then merlin and helen of troy here in the back row and of course we got the water dragon glindwer is that how i say it is that the correct I, I don't know but he looks absolutely incredible so we're gonna we're gonna leave him there guys merlin with four skill points is so he just chunks people it's crazy he deals so much damage I, I don't even understand you can also see in the top left corner the troop power here for this composition is 30,200 now one last thing we got to do some summoning okay we're on the hall of immortals we have 10 of the philosopher stones so let's go ahead and skip this one it's Vlasta. okay great that's fine we're gonna go do the 10 percent off we want to see what we get hopefully we get some sort of full epic summon that would be incredible here and we don't see any but uh let's see what we do get uh, who is this? Who is this? Oh, okay. Wait, what's his name again? Oh, I forgot his name. He's the, he's the lightning back row, the archer. Ah, he's got the wolf, man. I love him. He lo actually looks incredible. Not going to lie. A Bauji, That's right. A Bauji? A Bauji? I I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Uh, anything else cool? No. Oh, we got Brynhild. We wanted Brynhild. That's fine. Everything else here, I might actually just turn into soul crystals because we got Merlin in here and I still need to get skills on him. Now, one thing to know about cities is that there's a particular area around each city where you can't use a protection barrier, meaning your city can get attacked by other players over and over and over again. And the only thing that you can do is basically teleport away or just sit there and take it or defend. So anything in the yellow area, which is approximately two cities away on any side of this city, uh, you can't use your protection protection barrier. If the area is green, then you're good to go. So if you want to play it safe, if you're a weaker player or whatever the case is, you want to be a little bit farther away from that city when you do enter one of these fights. All right. The attack is beginning. So let's take a look here. Um, there is the outer walls that are being attacked right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and start attacking this corner here and let's go down here. It looks like this is the one Raina's is hitting. So let's take a look here. This is the wall durability. So you can see it's at 57 million right now. So the battle is well underway here. It looks like we got our first report. We were defeated. Obviously we were defeated. That's okay. We're going to keep going in and we're going to just keep attacking. We're just going to keep attacking it is what it is we've got a ton of players over here um pretty much the city is surrounded and everybody has coordinated this attack all at once all at 230 utc which is incredible um so everybody is basically just going in on the outer wall you could see the the power here or the durability for that wall is falling dramatically it's it's like it's getting completely completely destroyed absolutely nuts um so we're waiting for our army to come back to our city here um the people obviously closest to the walls are getting the most attacks off and of course reina over here 410,000 power she's a absolute beast so we're gonna keep keep just sending our troops in you're gonna lose some of these fights right though the wall is a it's a team effort so your individual uh, armies are going to probably get defeated a ton of times before you start to uh you know start to see some victories so we can see the wall here's the durability is almost over it's almost gone it's almost destroyed so we got another defeat over here in the corner but again that is okay that is to be expected don't get discouraged you're going to be getting those defeats now we do see um we have some garrisons here so we're going to be attacking the garrisons as well so let's go ahead and send out we're still waiting actually uh for that to come back oh we're good we're good we're, we can send them out we sent them out let's go let's go boys let's go so let's take a look over here yeah it looks like they're focusing down this top left corner um and of course the people that actually finish off that garrison um those are going to be the people who when they control all four of them they're going to be the ones that actually control the city so that is important to know so if there is a particular alliance that's going to be getting that garrison then of course you know it's important to let them take it so let's take a look here um perhaps i should be attacking maybe the higher level one so i don't accidentally 
take that garrison. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe I won't even be able to defeat it. It's probably more likely, to be completely honest. Look at all the troops here. This is actually crazy. Oh, I did win. Oh, look at me. Look at me. I love that. Got some deads here, but no big deal. No big deal. We're gonna uh, we're gonna attack this this level twenty garrison over here because I don't again I don't want to risk uh, I don't want to risk accidentally taking one of these. So this is awesome. We've got uh, we've got C capturing both these garrisons. This is exactly what was planned. So that is incredible. Let's see. We can send out another attack here with the same army. This is my most powerful army, so I'm just using them over and over and over again. Uh, but man, this is super cool to see all these players kind of just coordinated. Look at all the lines. Everyone's coming from all over the place, basically just going completely in on this city. It's actually really cool to see. Love these. I uh, love these big like coordinated events. It, it makes the uh, it makes the game feel sort of like a you know community, right? It's really really cool. We got a defeat here. It looks like we weren't able to defeat uh, that garrison. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. Okay, and there it is. Oh, it looks like Pax took this one. What happens now? So I guess, oh, there we go. Okay, so C, C ended up doing it. C took both. And now C is completely in control of this city. Now, this is really cool because you can see here, the Alliance actually will get the city tax, which in this case, it's the iron. Uh, so 3,060 iron per hour. You also get a 3% food production speed buff just by being, uh, just by having the Alliance own this city. And if you're in the Hesperus territory, you get 50% gathering speed. If you're a member of the Alliance that does actually control this city which is awesome now for each city that an alliance uh, controls they do get to choose a mayor and for this particular city the mayor that is chosen gets three percent technology upgrade speed which is actually really really good now of course all cities have different buffs they have different taxes so some are going to give you food some are going to give you wood or stone and things like that again this one is a food production speed but you also get to the 3000 iron per hour so there's a lot of different uh, variables different cities have different things and different uh, mayor buffs as well but congratulations to serene of course they did actually end up taking this city for themselves so as you can see now that serene has taken all four of the inner garrisons there is a protection barrier active around the city for 30 minutes the city is safe from being attacked from anybody else and now they're going to begin construction on that city for my particular alliance that i'm in company of heroes we have six different cities and you can see the territorial taxes really start to add up right so you can claim these you get some really nice resources and this is another great reason to be in an active alliance that's really really fighting to get some more of these cities on the map of course you can scroll down you see all the different information here the gathering speed and everything like that and then we can actually go over to one of these cities and you guys can take a look here and we can see there's no mayor this one would have the three percent healing speed and as you might expect the higher level cities actually give you more resources as a territorial tax now it's also important to know that there are capital cities as well and these are actually even bigger cities they're a little bit harder to occupy there's a time limit involved in order to do so uh, but if your alliance does end up occupying it then you also get a governor and some other titles here that provide some really really nice buffs and they do provide you some gold here so 2500 per hour really good gold is hard to come by and this goes without saying but the most important city to capture is in fact the world heart this is the center of the entire world that you're going to be in and this is essentially the goal of the entire server capturing the world heart gives you the king title and as well you can get the prime minister minister of defense things along those lines and it's much harder to do right it's much harder to do you can see even the wall durability is like four or five times higher than of that city that we just watched get attacked and there's only one world heart in the entirety of norheim so there's going to be a lot of competition to take this in the middle of the map guys if you found this video fun entertaining or informative or anything like that make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out the channel a ton and if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload an infinity kingdom video as always all my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter discord facebook and all the other links they're always down below make sure you also comment down below any questions you have about city captures or anything that you saw in this video i'll be down there answering everybody another quick reminder that if you don't have infinity kingdom there's a download link in the description below this game is absolutely free to play for your mobile devices or emulators this game is it's a ton of fun i've been playing it a ton and if you guys missed it in the last video the devs did give me actually a really nice redeem code you guys can come up here in the corner you can go into your settings tap redeem and you can type in omniarch here i got some free gems and experience gems are a premium currency so go ahead use my gift code and it should help you guys out a little bit plus who doesn't like free stuff anyway guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace